positives. You want to talk about positives? Positives? Hey everyone, my name is Melody and thank you for clicking on this video. So normally I don't put too much thought into my negative comments that I receive here on YouTube, um, but I will say I have noticed a common theme uh, coming from people that really don't like what I'm doing here on this channel. I've been told multiple times that I should not be so negative when it comes to the Buffalo Sabres and that I should really try to be more positive and optimistic about this team. And you know those comments are coming from non-Sabres fans because I've had actual Sabres fans tell me that I'm being too smiley and too cheery and I should really consider being more pessimistic. <laughs> but you know what? The more I thought about it, the more I realized that those people were probably right. I should try to be more optimistic about the Sabres. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of things to be positive about. And if you believe it, I was able to come up with 81 positive things to say about the Buffalo Sabres. 81! So no one can ever say that I'm too negative ever again. <laughs> So here we are, the 81 positive things about the Buffalo Sabres. Jack Eichel hasn't requested a trade yet. Jack Eichel went on a 17 game point streak this year and it only ended when he got the flu, so who knows how long that could have gone on for. Sabres are going to Royal Blue Jerseys next year. Rasmus Dahlin. We have to have the cheapest tickets in the NHL. Like where else can you go and get $2 tickets off of StubHub for any given game? The Buffalo Sabres reason for existence is to win a Stanley Cup or something. We actually fired Jason Botterill. We still do not hold the record for the longest playoff drought. Dylan Cousins was ranked number one on Scott Wheeler's Top 50 Prospects ranking. That's cool. Casey Middlestad was once a World Junior MVP. We have a really cool logo. We're gonna have like a 10 month off season. Like, that can only help us. Jack and Sam once rode a tandem bicycle into the arena, so that's pretty cool. We fired basically all of our scouts and all of our people in management positions, so less people to make bad decisions. Tage Thompson is still unproven, so the O'Reilly trade is not lost yet. We've got a top 10 pick in a relatively deep draft. Again, we've got a lot of experience picking 8th overall, so it's all good. We've got a lot of bad contracts coming off the books this year. We have a new GM with a really thick Buffalo accent, so that's fun to listen to. During intermissions, we have the floss cam. Eight-year-olds love that. We haven't finished last in two straight seasons. Streak. We have a great home record against the Leafs. Our owners have a really nice lifestyle that they make sure they maintain. The Buffalo Bills look pretty good. And speaking of the Bills, uh, the Sabres playoff drought is only half of what the Bills drought was, so... Could be worse, right? If next season doesn't start until January and they decide not to do a full 82 game season, uh, we have less time to collapse. Sam Reinhardt has really nice hair. Victor Olofsson has a laser beam of a shot, so that was fun this year. Jeff Skinner is the best figure skater in the NHL, and it's not even close. We didn't have to endure a full 82 game season this year, so that was a nice perk. We were only two points out of the play-in round this year, so one more win and we would have been it. We were the best team out of all the teams that didn't get to keep playing. We weren't voted the worst road city to visit. We still have the best TV ratings in the United States during the playoffs, despite never actually being in them. Sabretooth. Great mascot. Zemgis Gergensis has a really cool Latvian rap song about him. We are officially halfway through Kyle Poso's contract. We scored seven goals on New Jersey twice this year. Like, that's, that's good. We gave a guy an NHL contract to play one minute and 26 seconds of NHL hockey. Isn't that a nice story? Lawrence Pilot is going to have a great opportunity in the KHL. Carter Hutton got his eyes fixed. I mean, that'll, that'll probably help him. Ralph Kruger is awesome. Like, no one has anything bad to say about him. No more Zach Bogosian. Rasmus Dahlin has a 100% success rate in shootouts in his career. That's pretty good. Those 50th anniversary jerseys? Gorgeous. They finally didn't screw up a jersey this time. We had a really great month of October. Jeff Skinner can really only improve next year, right? Doug Allen is the best anthem singer in the league. Easily. There were a lot of games where our best line was our fourth line. Hashtag log line. Tickets were really easy to come by this year, and you could have picked to sit anywhere you wanted if you wanted to go to a game if you wanted to go to a game. We have Ugo Peko Lukadin in the system, and that's a fun name to say. We actually traded Alex Nylander for Henry Yokiharyu, so you don't lose them all. Jack Eichel is under contract for six more years, so. We haven't experienced playoff heartbreak in almost a decade. That's nice. Jack Eichel spent most of the season on a 100 point pace with essentially no supporting cast. That's remarkably impressive. Josh Allen looks great in a Sabres jersey. Not all of the Sabres alumni jerseys were misspelled. 
The nachos at the arena are really good. Vili Leno is officially off the Sabres payroll, and so is Tim Murray. Rick Jenneret is the GOAT. We didn't get any consideration via Hub City because apparently we didn't remember to maintain our ice this year. Um, so that's good. We didn't need all those people coming in anyway. The Sabres went 2015 and 4 on home ice this year. That's like, that's decent. I never have to hear Jason Botterill say it's a situation where ever again. That 10 game win streak in 2018 gave me a quick reminder of what happiness looks like. So at least that's something to hold on to. Who doesn't love Ryan Duff, right? Like, great guy. Our social media team doesn't embarrass us with every single thing they post. Just most of them. During our different decade nights this year, we got to use throwback goal songs, uh, so that way we didn't have to hear Let Me Clear My Throat every single time. We don't have a team puppy, but that's okay because it would like distract us from winning or something. I just really, really want a team service dog, and I feel like it's really not that big of an ask. Based on my comment section, um, everyone in the league feels bad for us, so empathy's nice. We thought we were gonna see the Sabres in red and black on 90s night this year. That was a fun thought. These Buffalo Sabres oven mitts were a nice Thanksgiving giveaway this year. Because of the pandemic, the Sabres replayed some classic games over the past few months, and that's made me happy. We have technically improved over the last two years under Botterill. We organized an actual protest over the team's management, so... Like, at least we still care. We're actually weirdly good against Connor McDavid and the Oilers. Like, of all people. <laughs> we start seasons really well. The longer we wait for our first Stanley Cup, the sweeter the celebration will be. I just hope I won't be celebrating that first Stanley Cup with my grandchildren! Linus Olmark's new pads are really cool. Did I mention Jack Eichel? He's really good. And last but not least, I will love the Buffalo Sabres until the day I die, no matter how terrible they are. So, I think that's really all that needs to be said. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that was enough positivity for you. Um, it was way too much positivity for me. I want to go back and start yelling at things again. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Um, Subscribe if you haven't already and if you think that you have any positives that I've missed that I've forgotten about Let me know in the comments. Let's let's keep this positivity trend going. Thanks guys. I'll see you soon. Have a good one